This is the Global Express XRS, a name that has become emblematic of long-range capability and opulence in business aviation. Introduced in 2003 as an enhancement of the original Global Express, the aim was to address customer feedback and evolving market demands for even greater range, comfort, and technological sophistication. The XRS suffix symbolized extended range and speed, traits that would set this aircraft apart from its competitors and its predecessor. The cockpit and avionics saw upgrades with the introduction of the Bombardier Vision avionics suite, which was built around the Rockwell Collins Pro-Line fusion system, and offered pilots more robust capabilities, including a more interactive and customizable experience, enhanced vision systems, and performance management features. The Global Express XRS was well received in the market, especially among corporations and high net worth individuals who required the combination of range, comfort, and advanced features it provided. This model continued to perform well in sales, even as new competitors entered the market with their own long-range business jets. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Global Express XRS. The cabin stretches to an impressive length of 48 feet, 4 inches, or 14.70 meters, a width of 8 feet, 2 inches, or 2.50 meters, a height of 6 feet, 3 inches, or 1.90 meters, resulting in a total cabin volume of 2,140 cubic feet or 60 cubic meters, a setting spacious enough to accommodate various configurations, from a corporate office setup to a leisure lounge, mostly a forward four-chair club section, a central four-seat conference grouping, and an aft three-place divan facing two chairs. Most have a forward galley, crew rest chair, and crew lavatory. The 10.3 PSI cabin pressurization maintains a 4,500-foot cabin altitude up to flight level 450 and 5,680 feet at the FL 510 ceiling. The Global Express XRS offers various floor plans tailored to customer needs, and you'll commonly find configurations accommodating between 8 to 19 passengers. The seats are top-notch, often covered in top-grain leather, they offer features like 180-degree swivel, full-flat recline, and lumbar support. Given that this aircraft is often in the air for hours on end, in-flight entertainment and connectivity are not just bells and whistles, but essential features. With high-speed K-band Wi-Fi and multiple large-screen displays, passengers can stay connected or enjoy various multimedia options seamlessly. The interface is often controlled via an interface that offers full control of the entertainment suite. Another feature that deserves attention is the aircraft's highly customizable lighting system. LED lights offer a full spectrum of colors, allowing passengers to mimic natural daylight or create a tranquil setting for rest. Compared to the old Global Express, the new XRS has an additional two cabin windows, one located fore and the other aft, and all the windows have been repositioned and enlarged by 25%. When it comes to onboard dining, the Global Express XRS is no less impressive. The fully equipped galley comes with convection ovens, ice drawers, and coffee makers as standard. Given the aircraft's long-range capabilities, the galley's design ensures that multiple meals can be served hot and fresh. The cabin is insulated with state-of-the-art materials to dampen external noise, an ultra-electronics active noise and vibration cancellation system ensures quiet conditions in flight, maintaining a quiet ambience that rivals the serenity of a high-end boardroom. Stepping inside the cockpit, the Global Express XRS provides a well-thought-out environment for pilots. With a width of approximately 5 feet or 1.52 meters and a height of around 5 feet 2 inches or 1.57 meters, the cockpit offers ample space and features ergonomic seats, multi-axis adjustments, and purpose-driven control placements. The primary spotlight must shine on the Honeywell Primus 2000 XP2 avionics suite, which includes six 8-inch by 7-inch CRT displays that serve as the PFDs, MFDs, and EICAS screens. It also features a dual Rockwell Collins digital radio altimeter and standby airspeed altimeters artificial horizon, and heading indicator. However, in September 2007, the company announced a new Global Vision flight deck. The Rockwell Collins Pro-Line Fusion Avionics Suite 
includes four high-resolution 15-inch Active Matrix LCD screens, head-up guidance system, personalized display information, electronic checklist, maps with graphical flight planning, future air navigation system, controller pilot data link communication, multi-scan weather detection system, and synthetic vision system. It also includes the Bombardier Enhanced Vision System, or BEVS, and was certified with Enhanced Flight Vision System, or EFVS, in February 2010. Thales Avionics Canada and CMC Electronics have developed the BEVS for the Global Express XRS. The BEVs, which integrates the Thales Head-Up Flight Display System and CMC's SureSight Infrared Sensor, features a large field of view and a holographic optical combiner, which improves the pilot's situational awareness in low visibility conditions and at night. The dual flight management systems are one of the stars in this avionics lineup. They facilitate advanced flight planning, fuel conservation, and route optimization. The FMS works in tandem with a GPS receiver for high accuracy, satellite-based navigation. The communication systems include Rockwell Collins HF and VHF systems, with dual transponders and communications management systems. There is a five-channel selective calling system from Coltec and a Honeywell flight data recorder and a cockpit voice recorder. Additionally, a CPDLC system enables text-based communication with ATC, an advantageous feature for operations in congested or remote airspace. The cockpit boasts a fully integrated auto throttle system and a comprehensive auto flight system capable of full vertical and lateral navigation, which work together to ensure optimum performance, whether the aircraft is climbing to its maximum operational altitude or cruising for extended periods. When it comes to weather assessment, the aircraft is equipped with a predictive wind shear system and advanced weather radar offering real-time three-dimensional storm detection. Additionally, TCAS and EGPWS are built in for added layers of safety. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Global Express XRS is powered by two Rolls-Royce BR 710A220 turbofan engines with a TBO of 10,000 hours, each producing 14,470 pounds of thrust at takeoff. The engines have FADEC and are rear-mounted with de Havilland engine pylons and Bombardier, formerly Shorts, nacelles. International nacelle systems developed the hydraulic two-pedal thrust reversers. The aircraft requires about 6,000 feet or 1,830 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 51,000 feet or 15,550 meters. The high cruise speed, normal cruise speed, and long-range cruise speed of the aircraft are 504 knots, 488 knots, and 458 knots respectively, with an average hourly fuel burn of about 500 gallons or 1,900 liters. The jet has a maximum range of 6,200 nautical miles, which is 7,150 miles or 11,500 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of about 2,200 feet or 670 meters, with a maximum net payload of 4,800 pounds or 2,200 kilograms, and a full fuel payload of 2,400 pounds or 1,100 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Global Express XRS was $60 million at the time of manufacture before options. But today, prices are between $10 million for a 2005 model and $20 million for a 2012 model, and the charter price is estimated at $10,000 to $15,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $1 million to $1.2 million, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $5,000 to $7,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.